Okay, so as I said earlier, I'll make a video here of uh, cleaning the hemp. So as you can see, there's a puddle there. It rained on us. We got, uh, I don't know, we probably got 15, 20 acres maybe done. And then uh, we got rain, so we had some supper and we waited for the rain to pass and now we're cleaning the hemp up here. So uh, the dirt, the hemp from the field is in this red trailer and uh, we're dumping it, dumping it into the seat cleaner. The, uh, the front machine there, you can see right in the middle of the screen, uh, that one, is cold and indent. So that sorts by length. Now, there's not actually any wild oats in this, so right now I'm not using it. Usually, like, the prim preliminary use for it would be to take the short stuff out, so the rolls, uh, you can see the roll in here. Um, so the grain goes inside the rolls and it sorts by length. So there's actually a U trough. If you can imagine, there's a trough that goes right through the middle inside that roll. And inside the trough, there's an auger. And the auger goes right through the roll and it turns with the roll. So what happens is the grain goes in here. It goes over this scalper aspirator, which just it's just a fancy word for a mesh roll that takes off the big chunks basically so any like stalk and that kind of stuff takes that off and puts in the screenings and then the rest of the so the good grain goes through there it'll go into this roll right here through the roll and the roll will so it goes into the bottom of the roll the roll has indents in it it's just as its name indents so the indent the pocket of the indent the grain will go into the indent and the indent will carry it around the roll and now if you can imagine if a, so an object say let's say a hemp kernel fits perfectly in that indent so the indent will carry that a long ways around now there's a there's a wild oat in there there's a piece of straw in there now that's too long to fit in the indent so it'll fall prematurely right it'll just roll tumble in the roll and work its way to the end the hemp will go up around it will drop in the trough it'll go through the trough and then go into a different roll so what goes in the trough which is the shorter stuff will go down into the middle roll and then work its way back and then the short out of the short roll is screenings and the long out of the short roll is clean so then the long that comes out of the top roll goes into the bottom and then the long that comes out of the bottom roll is screenings and the short is clean and then it goes from there it goes across in that trough you can't see it's behind the fuel tank but I'll show you in a bit and then it goes up through the I call it the transfer auger and it goes up into the top of the air screen where there's uh, suction to lift off the lights and it goes down into this top screen deck and it splits into two screens and it goes down this way and those two screens take off the larger uh, product so you know chunks of stalk again anything bigger than the hemp you can put whatever size screens in you want in this instance we have 13 64 round hole and that's 13 64 of an inch so 13 64 round hole screens so that'll let the hemp go through and the bigger crap <laughs> for sure better word of a term gets ejected into the side and goes down into the screenings then it carries on there's one deck goes this way that's a scalping deck and for hemp we run a 5 64 of an inch again but it's a slot this time a 5 64 3 quarter inch slot so that lets the fines through the hemp stays on top and it carries on through the machine so then the hemp goes down here so then it splits off into two deck screens again and it goes down the other way and it's the same thing a scalp uh, sorry a sift screen 564 again and then the clean rent grain comes off this chute here and goes off the side into the conveyor and up into the truck so that's a simple explanation of that one and then I'll just uh, get you a little closer here so you can see what's kind of going on so I'm not gonna Hemp is a food grade product, so I'm not going to touch it with my bare hands here. But I'll zoom in and just give you an idea what it kind of what it kind of looks like in the hopper. 
So as you can see, there's some green seeds in there. There's some little bits of stalk, and there's uh, the bract of the of the plant is kind of in the sample too. Then there's the little weed seeds, of course. So we'll go around here and uh, actually take it right up in here, and we'll see everything running. So, uh, I don't know if you can hear me here, but this side, you see everything's kicking off here into shoots that go down into the side. And in the side here, there's an auger, which is the screenings. So that's the screenings going out there. Sorry about that. So this is the this is the lights coming off the suction. So this is uh, you can see the brack material in there now, the chunks of uh, bracts and stuff. And then there'll be empty seeds, empty hemp seeds that are light, and uh, the odd weed seed in here. This is another, this is the after suction, which is on the bottom of the cleaner. There's not much coming off of there. That's the, this is the scalping screen, so that round hole screen. So this is what's coming off above the hemp. So as you can see, it's just big chunks of, big chunks of stalk and all that kind of junk. I'm not using my indent right now because uh, the hemp tends to roll to the bottom and it goes out in the screening, so. And then this is the, I'll call it clean, but it's not clean. It's just cleaner. The the pro the idea here is not to get it clean, clean. This is going to go on to a processor. So we're just trying to take the high moisture materials out of it, so it's just easier to dry. Is really all we're trying to get out of this. So, and this is my own cleaner. This is one I, I actually put this one together, and I do a mobile mobile seed and grain cleaning business. So, uh, so I have it handy to me, so we might as well be using it. Yeah, so. Also, another thing to mention about hemp is you can see we're using a conveyor here. And uh, the reason for that is hemp does not like much handling. It tends to crack. So we're, uh, we're using a conveyor. The augers run really slow. Everything's as gentle as it can be and that's also why we're Using this truck instead of running the auger all the time So we're gonna fill into this truck and then we'll dump the truck and run that auger full The more full you run it the The better the better the less damage you get right so So we'll run that auger full and uh, these bins and if you can see in the back corner there, but uh, these bins we put up this year and they're actually a dryer bin. They uh, run a propane heater to dry, so we can dry this at low heat uh, without moving it. So we'll, we'll auger it in there and then we'll level off, level off the pile in the bin so it's relatively flat. And then uh, we'll dry it. And hopefully we get it dry enough, get a sample sent away and they want to take it pretty soon. Anyways, that's all for me tonight. I'm gonna carry on cleaning, get this done, and call her a day.